All right, guys, Coach Simpson here again. This is day four of my belly series. This one's going to be pretty simple and laid back uh, YouTube. So I'm going to go through a couple clips. And they're going to be good, bad, and ugly um, of kind of ways we run belly. A lot of this stuff is coming from this year. I thought this should be a good year to show because I'm in a new school now. And so we've just put this stuff in. Fortunately for me, I'm very blessed with some really, really good athletes. And so that helped a little bit. Uh, but I want to go ahead and show uh, a little bit of what we're doing. Um, and maybe it'll help you guys a little bit as you are working on putting belly in or kind of going through it. I'm going to get to my quick cut account. If you guys are uh, haven't looked at different filming things, this is my quick cut account. And so I'm just going to kind of go through about six or seven plays, uh, just looking at belly versus multiple looks and different answers and things that we try to do. Uh, so this is our base set. This is your general 3-4 team. So one of the things we were running kind of heaviest early in the year is we were trying to run some steel concepts. And this is a good player over there for, uh, for Batesville, good ball player. So we wanted to read him. So we're going to run steel with belly on this. Corbett does a great job early in the year. That's a great job by him of reading that. I think our guard did a phenomenal job on this one as well. But just kind of going through and hopefully it'll repeat for me. You know, we're reading him. So we're – I'm sorry, we're not reading him on that one. We read him later in the game. So we're just base handing this thing off right now. But against a 3-4 team, okay, we ought to be getting here. A double team to backside backer. Block out, block out. Here comes our guy to play side, okay. Our wing ends up getting kind of lost in the trash. You can tell us early in the year, you know, he just runs right into the trash right there. So we ought to almost have two wrappers, okay, coming through. We're fortunate that kid's a really good ball player for us. Uh, I think we come back later. That's probably what I was thinking it. And we run, uh, we run the steel concept. Same, same, same drive. Okay. What we love about belly, what I love about belly is that it can hit a gap like the last play. It can hit B gap. It can hit C gap. Or if they want to blow everything up and your guard is good enough and he does a good job here early in the year, look at him. We get, they're just trying to cut us. You know, they can't handle the lines. They're just going to cut you. So they cut us. You know, we're going to go ahead and get movement. And then our guard does a phenomenal job of wrapping and kind of logging right there. And then the running back makes me look like a genius because he's really, really good. But the, the concept of the play would have got him three or four yards, and then the, the great player gets the touchdown. So we love that play because, to me, it can hit A gap. It can hit B gap. It can hit C gap. You can even hit outside if you want to do that kind of stuff. I've, you know, I've not seen many teams try to just cut everybody. Okay, uh, here it is later in the year. We got a little bit better at it. Okay, so you got a forefront team right here. We're going to actually identify that as a forefront team. Okay, same blocking. Do a really good job. I thought we did a really, really, really good job right here. Notice how the play on this is hitting A gap. Okay, so our wing comes all the way to B gap, which is our, you know, to make this block. We get a great skip pull by our guard. Okay. Boom, boom, and kind of give our running back almost a two-way go. You know, he could hit that thing if he wants to. He could hit that thing here, or he could hit that thing behind the guard, which is a good choice, cuts it back, and you see what happens there. We had paired that, I believe, with fast screen on this one. We kind of go back and see. I think we'd run fast screen right here. Uh, no, we'd run bubble. Okay, we'd run bubble screen there to occupy guys. Uh, and you get three over two. Numbers are good in the box. Notice the corner is unblocked. A lot of people are going to say, well, you're, this guy right here is not blocked. Well, if he wants, starts wanting to come inside and make that tackle, you know, we're going to run a lot of buck. And so you're kind of putting them in a not good place to be. All right. Hopefully, I want to show a steal before I get done with today. But say, there it is. Okay. So now we'd run belly a few times. Now we're going to run steal on this kid. So good ball player for them, real good ball player. So we pull. There's our steal concept, quarterback gave it. And you see how by occupying this guy, even though he gives it, that cutback lane becomes ginormous because there's just nobody there to make the play. Center does a great job right there picking him up. Of course, running back picks up an extra 15 yards because he's a D1 back. If you're in any college watching this, recruit this guy very heavily. He's very good. Makes me look smarter than I probably really am. Okay, uh, okay but here goes later in the game, kind of same idea younger back in there okay you can see we're going to run the play to whatever gap they're going to give us we don't care what gap okay block out block out again our wing backs getting better he finally got through okay but we're going to hit that thing in a gap b gap c gap we don't care what gap 
whatever gap you line up and give us, that's the gap it's going to hit because of the way we teach the blocking scheme. So I wanted to kind of look at that um, a little bit. Let me see if I can find some older film here too. And I've got this guy's, if you're interested in getting into uh, my quick cut, I've got that available. Uh, it's, it's through uh, my website, fbcoachsimpton.com. And I've got a ton of film. You know, we had run this uh, this year at Cersei, but I've got a lot of, you know, years where I ran it at Southside uh, where we'd become, we were pretty decent at it. So here again, same play, different formation, same play. But look at this look, and that's a nasty look. But when you teach your rules, you're going to block backside. He's got that dude. That's a three technique. He's got that dude. That's a five technique. He's got that guy as a nine technique, and he's a D1, D lineman. But when you're only asking him to block them out, they can do that. So block out, block out, block out, block here. Well, the natural gap's the A gap. So we're going to run belly. We're going to run it through the A gap. You're going to see. We're going to hit that thing in the gap. You don't have guys. So you, you decided, and they did a good job. My friend over at Lone Oak, Harry, was deciding we weren't going to run buck. Okay. And that look, we're probably not going to run buck. We might run some flavor of something outside. But if we want to run, we're going to have to run a gap here. So we don't have to call 32 belly. We just call belly. And it's implied we're going to run to the gap you're not covering, which is why that's become one of my favorite plays. Again, guys, I've got a ton of other film if you're interested in it. You can sign up to be on my quick cut group. It's at fbcoachsimpton.com. Just go to the material section. I appreciate you guys' time. I hope you've gotten something from this tomorrow. We talk about why belly, why is it worth your time? Why does it pair so well with Buck? And we'll look at a couple different concepts on that as well. Appreciate you guys' time. If you haven't already done so, if you would like and subscribe to my channel just by clicking the button down below, trying to get to 1,000 so that I can do some of these live and answer questions you guys may have. Appreciate your time. Thank you.